So Spirit Airlines is known for their bare fare policy and under that policy they like to make things as cheap as possible especially the plane ticket and in order to do so they have to take away some certain factors and those include things like a carry-on instead of just a carry-on and a personal item and they do that so they can spend less money on fuel on the plane because it makes it heavier takes more fuel etc so it's like a long little process to ultimately lower the price of your ticket which is nice but the problem with that is the personal items dimensions can only equate up to 18 by 14 by 8 so I have to try to fit all of this stuff into one of these small backpacks I have there's no So the dimensions of this bag is about, say, 14 inches wide and about 18 inches long and it probably could go 8 inches when it's completely filled. Alright, so let's start with the bigger things. I know these sweatpants are probably and take up most of the space, so let's put that in the bottom. Alright, then we got these other shorts. That's going to take up a lot of space as well. Okay, put that in there. Then these running shorts, you know, you definitely got to run whenever you're in New York, so got to bring these guys. Um, put that right here, okay. That pretty much covered the entire surface of the back, which is kind of iffy right now, so I got to put my undergarments in here. Okay, so that's, that's pretty well padded too, so if I can somehow take this laptop, maybe it'll work out, but I don't want to risk it too much, so I'm going to put in this clothes, because obviously like the clothes are the most important, then I'll focus on like my laptop and my headphones, hopefully I can take these guys, that will be very helpful, but if not, it's no biggie I guess, so put this right here. Alright, bless. That's not bad. I think that's enough for the first pocket, so hopefully that zips up nicely. And it does, okay. Now let's use the second pocket I have for these last two pairs of clothes. This is actually looking a lot more promising than I thought. And then these toiletries, I guess I'll put it in this bag. Uh, and then these headphones, I can just put in here. But do I want to take my laptop? That's the key. That's not bad. I think I can take my laptop. Put my laptop in there. I don't think I'm going to take these headphones, so... Don't need that. I don't think I need anything else. Right? Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I didn't bring the camera. I think this is probably the most important thing, too. Alright, let's take you. Put this... Okay. I'm probably going to have to take this off. Put that right there. So I took out this one shirt, put that in there. That should zip up easily. Then this one. I can put the shirt in here now so I can add a little bit more protection to my laptop. I realized I forgot to film me putting in my chargers, but I was easily able to put my laptop charger, my phone charger, and my camera battery charger into my backpack. Since they're only like wires and like a small charger, it's easy to like find space for them, so I had no problems there whatsoever. Alright, for the moment of truth, let's try to squish this as much as possible because it is like mainly clothes and just a laptop which is pretty protect well protected. So, let's start with the width. The width at maximum is about, let's say 12-13 inches. 12-13, it's about right here. So, I think that should be perfectly fine because 14 is the width and max. Then let's check the length, I believe, give or take 17 or 18, it was pretty close. And then finally, the biggest obstacle is probably going to be this width. Let's see if it's if it's good. Hey, look at that. That's almost exactly 8 inches. I think it should be perfectly fine. I don't think we should have any problems. Alright guys, so there you have it. So I guess in this video, we were able to prove you can take four days worth of stuff onto a small Spirit Airlines personal item. And uh, this was not easy. I definitely had to make some sacrifices like my headphones, but this is definitely doable. Just make sure your measurements are right or you don't want to pay that hefty $35, $40 for the carry-on bag or even check the bag in. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe if you like my content. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.